And now set to make his way to the cage, the challenger, Danny, the Italian gangster, Sabatello. The Italian gangster, Danny Sabatello, may sound like good fellow Joe Pesci, John, but he's not about the funny business. He's done his part to market the fight, as has Rafion Stotts. But for Danny Sabatello, who's being serenaded by Boobirds, but also receiving a lot of support, he is currently on a career best seven fight win streak. And yeah, it's all about a wrestling background. He followed in the footsteps of his father, uncles, and brothers to become the wrestling team captain at Purdue University. And John, when he decided he was going to fight professionally, this guy went all in. He left his family and friends in Chicago, moving to Florida where he knew nobody and he literally had no idea if he'd be any good at fighting because he's never done it before. Well, here we are, knocking on the door and meeting Patchy Mix in the tournament final. And Mike Brown, his coach at American Top Team, thinks he's the best conditioned athlete he's ever worked with. Which is amazing when you think about it. And it's the fact that Danny Sabatello did leave his home in Chicago, went down to ATT, and just walked in the door and said, yeah, I train here. <laughs> and he says, who are you? Keys to victory with Danny Sabatello. Look at pressure, pressure, pressure throughout this fight because you use your conditioning to break your opponents. It's not only the wrestling, though. You've got to wrestle, but you've got to be smart in how you wrestle and where you turn it on. That's what you've got to do. Danny Sabatello fan club, and for him, those boos sound like cheers. The garbage gabbing guru. 3-0 in the Bellator cage. What a wild card and fight over Jornel Lugo. Then ousted Leon Leandro Higo. And now Danny Sabatello wants to silence all his haters and take out Rafion Stotts. Charismatic Rafion Stotts turns 34 December 16. And for the first time in his MMA career, his father is in the arena to support his progeny who is in pursuit of a prodigious run. Big Johnny's on a career best 10 fight win streak, a six fight Bellator winning streak at Bantamweight, the longest active streak in the division. You know, he began wrestling in high school as an outlet for his pent up anger over his mom's battle with pneumonia. She passed shortly after he started wrestling, but his love for her is what has ultimately put him on the path that has led him to where he is today. And John, he says he feels like she's still watching over him and he's still trying to make her proud. Yeah. He's doing a great job of it, but I'll tell you right now, look, Rafion Stotts only has one loss in his career. That is over five years ago. He has been on fire since he's been here in Bellator. He has taken on some of the very best, and he has come up with outstanding performances. This guy can wrestle, he's fast, he's got good stand-up. He's just a pure athlete. Both of these Warriors have tasted defeat just once, and as you mentioned, for Rafion Stotts, knocked out via spinning back against Mirab Devlashili back in June of 2017. Sabatello knocked out as well by Erwin Rivera with a punch to the body, but tonight they're all about knocking each other out, not only literally, but out of the tournament. Someone is going to face Patchy Mix in the final. Will it be Stotts or Sabatello? He's the victory for Rafion Stotts is use your speed, son. You are fast. Never stop in a wrestling exchange until you are on top or out of his grasp. And here we are set for the tale of the tape, the main event. Who will face Patchy Mix in the final? Here are the numbers, John. Come on, just take a look at it. 18 and one for Rafion Stotts, 13 and one for Danny Sabatello. It doesn't get any better. Here's Michael C. Williams. Bellator MMA live on Showtime from 
Mohegan Sun Arena the time has come to conclude our double main event to wrap up the semifinals of the one million dollar bantamweight world grand prix will go now to five five minute rounds for the interim bellator bantamweight world championship first introducing the blue corner at five foot ten weighing in 135 pounds even after the wild card victory and dominant opening round he brings a near perfect professional record of 13 and one ranked at number six he fights out of fort lauderdale florida by way of chicago illinois presenting the challenger danny the italian gangster And across the cage, the champion fights out of the red corner at five foot seven, weighing in 134.4 pounds. After the opening round knockout victory secured the title tonight, he makes his first defense as he too enters nearly perfect, bringing 18 professional victories, just one defeat. He fights out of Houston, Texas. He is the defending interim Bellator. In charge, Blake Grice. Easy, gentlemen, you know the rules. I do expect a clean fight. Obey my command, protect yourself at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Back up. Of course, they're not going to touch gloves. An electric atmosphere for this emotionally charged main event. Stay right there. High stakes. Rafiad starts with two first round finishes. Danny Sabatello with six first back round up, finishes. Are you ready? Ready, fight! Bellator, Bantamweight World Grand Prix. Final about to be set. Stotts or Sabatello to meet Patchy Mix for the tournament championship and the million dollar bonus check. And immediately Sabatello attacks the body with a kick. I like to say all the talk is over, but that would be a lot. <laughs> Stotts worked at Rufus Sport with the current Bantamweight champion Sergio Pettis, was supposed to face Pettis in the quarterfinals. There's a level change sprawl by Stotts, already Stotts defending. A saw, takedown attempt by Sabatello. Saw the positional change. Stotts was controlling that center of the ring, pushing Sabatello's back to the fence when he went down on one knee. Sabatello changed position. Stotts was close to the fence. That's when he shot in. Mentioned that Stotts worked with Sergio Pettis and Rufus Ford and Sabatello does secure his first takedown. But then Stotts moved to Extreme Couture, now working in his hometown of Houston with Eve Edwards and Danny Sabatello has his back. Well, the Sabatello fan club dropping up bombs of their own, John. <laughs> okay, right here is getting a little high, but he's in a good position. You notice how he grabbed the leg to keep himself from being tossed over the top. Sabatello being very smart with his hands where he's putting them. He's got a heavy hip ride right here. He's just going to try to hold position. Try to maintain that back. Break. Rafion starts down into the grounded position. Another pick a matchup. Stotts a little more fight experience, both well-rounded. Stotts with four knockouts, four submissions. Sabatello with three KOs and four submissions. And Sabatello continues trying to control Stotts from his back. As Stotts pushing down on that arm. What he's trying to do is slide his other arm around so he can get to grabbing into Sabatello's body. He's unable to do it. And now Stotts trying to break the grip. 
So Past the midway point of the opening round. Gabatello doing a really nice job of body positioning. He's flowing with everything that Rafael Stotts is doing. He needs to defend. He's flowing into the next position. Rolling for it, perhaps. Oh, an escape. Well, maybe even a potential knee bar attempt, but it's Sabatello, north south, sprawling. Putting his Sab Sabatello almost with a cradle. Take a look at the leg there and see it with the head. He's got that cradle position, lets the head go. Again, captain of the Purdue wrestling team, and in fact, former Bellator champ Juan Archuleta, who replaced Sergio Pettis in the Grand Prix, was ousted by Stotts. He too wrestled at Purdue. Like 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 Sabatello's coach, Mike time, Brown, out. yelling out instructions, wanting to flatten. Stotts out. Beautiful the job with the wizard by Stotts. And Stotts turns the table. Stotts now trying to take the back of Sabatella. Now it's a scramble. Man, there's a lot of energy going out right now, Moro. These guys are going for it. But this is part of Danny Sabatello's plan. He believes that that conditioning is another weapon. It's another tool yeah. he can use to break down Stotts. Well, he said he thought that the pressure was going to result in Stotts trying to take him out early, which would cause him to fatigue. Instead, it's the wrestling of Sabatello who's trying to drain that gas tank early for Stotts. Close to the groin there with that knee. No surprise when it comes to Danny Sabatello's strategy. One for two in the takedown department. They jockey for position. Not a lot of striking offense, but Sabatello putting the pressure on Stotts as we head to round two. That felt good. Feel good? Good. T take, take your time. Take your time. And we talked well, about Rafi on Scott's father you, watching him in person for the first time. We got to fight out of these positions. Oh. Not stay. All right, second down. Not let's stay go. In one spot. We also mentioned that Stotts lost his mother when he was in high school, but Stotts looking to avoid that suffocating pressure from Sabatello when it comes ready, ready, to wrestling. Fight. Here we go with round number two. Big John has the unofficial scorecard. How did you adjudicate the first five minutes? You know, in, in that, was Sabatello controlling mostly where that fight was going to take place in the grappling realm? I have Danny Sabatello up tonight. Here in the corner, Rafael starts talking about control that center. Part of their game plan is keep Sabatello's back to the fence. That way, if he shoots, you have all that room to work with him. Convivial atmosphere here to wrap up the Bellator MMA year with Stott supporters, Sabatello supporters. There's the shot from Sabatello, stuffed by Stotts. And Stotts corner, that's Eve Edwards on the left, Eric Nixick on the right. That's a nice right hand by Danny Sabatello there. Jab, jab right there. Keep your jab in his mouth. Straight stuff, straight stuff. Straight stuff to start. And I, 
know that Rafion is worried about Danny shooting, but he's got to throw more than just the one. He's got to throw in combinations. That's what will catch him. Said go. <laughs> Part of that is Danny does not want there to be a break. Again, it's the conditioning. He believes that he can push Rafion past that point of the comfort zone. That's a tool. Remember, stop. Oh, nice right, right uppercut on the exit. Stocks came from behind to knock out Juan Archuleta. Meanwhile, Sabatello. Proved he can go five rounds against Leandro Ego. And there again, Stotts shooting, or excuse me, Sabatello. Stotts chuck, stops it. Stotts should be moving his feet, circling out right now, get his back away from that cage. And again, another takedown attempt that is Denied by Stotts, one for six now for Danny Sabatello in the takedown department. And Sabatello able to put Stotts on his back. Very nicely done by Danny Sabatello. Got those underhooks. Nice rotation to get him down. Rafael Stotts not used to being on his back in the MMA fight. Stotts attempting to escape, not accepting this position. But for Danny Sabatello, proud to be that proverbial wet blanket in terms of just smothering you in top position. Now transitions to the back. Good escape there by. A beautiful reshoot Stops. by Danny Sabatello. Yep. Those elbows right there, those are key for Rafion Stotts. In this position, when you get the opportunity to land any kind of strike, Rafion Stotts needs to make Danny pay for this attempt at the takedown. Final minute, and again, Sabatello looking to take the back of Rafion Stotts, but against the fence with 50 seconds left in the second. Let's try what, what you see here. Danny Sabatello's got that. He can look towards a lot of different types of things, like a twister, but he, his leg is in a position. Look out for that knee bar. Knee bar is in place. Rafion Stotts attempting the knee bar. Danny Sabatello. He's got to extend that leg. Oh, Sabatello slips out, immediately goes back on top. So Rafion Stotts searching for the submission in the latter stages of the second round, but he'll end the round with Danny Sabatello on his back. Damn! And let's check in with Bellator Bantamweight champion Sergio Pettis. What are your thoughts on what you've seen thus far, champ? And it's been a good fight. Obviously, Sobatello's getting to his bread and butter, that wrestling. Rafian's doing a good job at taking, uh, take, shooting, the, stopping the takedown shots. I apologize. Um, but he's got to fight the inside a little bit better. Fight the inside, not Danny. Let not let Danny come up into the underhooks. Um, so far, I got Danny up a little bit. Thanks a lot, Sergio. Let's uh, listen into Sabatello's corner. Another thing we got to do: throw a little bit of punches. It doesn't have to be hard, but you do it. You do it. You do it. You do it. Here you go, Danny Sabatello landed a beautiful right hand right there. Nice, clean Second shot. Down. This was a clean, beautiful uppercut right here, right on the temple by Rafion Stotts. Here was that takedown. The real question is, what did Danny Sabatello do in this position? He got caught in the knee bar. Everything was going on here, but he did at least push the pace. Danny. 
pressure, pressure, pressure on Rafael Stas. And that's Danny Sabatello's M.O. Pushing the pace, putting the pressure on, securing the takedowns, and then wearing you down. John, your scorecard, you have it even after two? I do. You take a look. Rafael Stotts actually landed the better striking by far in the second round. He was the one with the submission tip. I had a lot of control from Danny Sabatello. That ain't going to win the fight. That body kick countered by a two punch combination by Rafael Stotts. And Stotts leads with the right hook, left hand. Fighting out of the southpaw stance, backing up. Sabatello, so Stotts putting on pressure, sprawls on the takedown attempt by Sabatello. Why do you see Rafael Stott on his knee? He knows that he cannot be knee to the face in that position. He's got his head off to the side. So he stand down on a knee. He cannot do that. His knee's down. Come right over here. Hey, hey come here for me. I don't think it was hard to hurt you, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let that happen. Stand right there. See where that knee is. That makes him a grounded fighter. It when he brings that blow. knee up, it really doesn't touch him. I do that, not okay? think that Blake Rice is gonna take any points. But Danny okay? Salatella cannot totally knee him at that point. He's gotta go to the body or stay away Watch from the that. knees altogether. Fight. Fight resumes. It's past one minute gone here in round three. Three for ten in the takedown department for Sabatello. Stotts beginning to mix up his striking attack with punches and kicks. That was a nice kick that Danny Sabatello slipped in there, though. Stotts starting to stuff the takedowns. Oh, he's stuffed eight of them. That front kick by Sabatello continues to, to flash it, but hasn't earned any reward yet. That left hand landed for Stotts, and immediately Sabatello went for the takedown as Stotts has the edge in the striking. If Stotts starts to use that jab, follow it up with that straight left hand. Oh, heck, heck, there's that kick that That's what we're talking about. knocked out Archuleta. And in fact, in his career, Danny Sabatello has a head kick KO as well. There's a nice stiff jab from the Southpaw stance by Stotts. And as you said, Danny Sabatello's only loss was due to body blows. That left kick to the liver, that is a dangerous weapon. Left hand lands for Sabatello, midway point of the third. Hatchy Mix watching on after dispatching Magomed Magomedov. And now Stotts goes for the takedown. Level change defended along the fence by Sabatello. And in fact, according to our stats, that's the first takedown attempt by Rafion Stotts. And he definitely got that takedown. Danny tried to slide through it, wasn't able to. He's going to try to work his way back to his feet, but he needs to be careful about giving his back. And Stotts. Sabatello, cross side position, now side control. See, and in side control position, a lot of guys don't like it because you have to use your arms to help control the body. It's tough to get your legs in position. That's why, like what the crucifix will do. It'll help control the body with the use of the legs. And now Stotts looking to go to full mount, but Instead, back to north-south, and Sabatello gets back up to a vertical base. Knee up the middle by Stotts, controlling Sabatello's head. Crowd screaming for knees. Sabatello has the hook in, looking to take Stotts back. Under a minute left in the third. The only thing I can look at when I see that change of position like that is that Rafael Stotts is getting a little bit tired. Head high, head high. Sabatello's attempted 14 takedowns, has secured four. Stott needs to get his head off to the side. Get your head high. It's your way of getting to a better position against your opponent. Head high here will win. 
So, not surprisingly, Stotts with the advantage in the striking department, Sabatello with the edge in the wrestling department. Something's got to give, Big John. Problem for Danny Sabatello, yeah, he, I think he's getting tired, but every time he gets into the grappling situation, he's holding, he's not doing any damage. Another left head kick delivered by Stotts as we go to the fourth. And there is Patchy Mix getting to sit back and celebrate and enjoy now. now that he has uh, recorded a huge victory over Magomed Magomedov. I mean, two big wins in the tournament over Horiguchi Magomedov. And yeah, Patchy Mix making it clear he is coming for the belt. That belt belongs to Sergio Pettis, but there's also a championship belt on the line in the tournament. Absolutely, there's that tournament belt, which is really nice. And you know what's even nicer? Million dollar bonus check. You can't throw that yourself! Again, don't look up Fourth round underway. How do you have it on your unofficial scorecard, John? Unofficially, I have Rafion Stocks up right now. 29-28. Big thing that I'm seeing out of Sabatello, he's getting those takedowns at times, and he's getting to positions where he can control. He's doing zero damage, and control is the last thing that you get credit for. It is. Effective striking and effective grappling. And Sabatello just out of range when it comes to his striking. A jab by Stotts at front kick again. Which is away from the face of Stotts. Lead. Stiff jab there by Stotts and Sabatello lands a right. Almost turned that over as a hook. Sprawl by Stotts, knee by Sabatello. Beautiful Sabatello reshoot. again reshoots, but this time able to go and immediately trying to transition the scramble. There's that control by Sabatello. Yeah, got a cradle position here. Sabatello did a beautiful job of reshooting and then reshooting again. That's why he's so tenacious in wow. that attack. See, this is, cradles are a great technique for pitting your opponent in wrestling, but in MMA, it's, just, it's not going to do anything except get you in the position. Scott said that Sabatello is the most one dimensional fighter in Bellator, but that one dimension has uh, served him well. Yeah, I've seen a lot of guys that are pretty one dimensional. Awfully good in the sport of MMA by being so good that you can't stop that one thing. The age old question, right? Good at a bunch of things or great at one? That's it. Sabato right now reaching through. He's looking for that anaconda choke. Not sure if he's going to get it. Goes Transitions to the back. And again, Stotts rolling. But Sabatella maintains control. Just past the midway point of the fourth. Sabatella attempting to put in the hook scramble. Talking to Sabatello earlier on, you know, he said, all I have to do is win one of the first three rounds. I guarantee you that the fourth and fifth, the championship rounds will be mine. Right now, he's trying to prove it. Sabatello needs to know, I'm losing that position to change. That's what he's doing. Very nice work by Danny Sabatello. But again, more control. He's, he's winning the control factor. 
He's just not being able to do any type of damage. No strikes, no submission attempts. Again, starts giving up his back. There he goes with a strike. Rolling again, but Sabatello with the hook in. A minute and a half left in the penultimate round. There's Stotts turning into Sabatello. Has the front headlock now. Breaks. After all of his grappling, all, everything that you've seen, their arms have to be incredibly heavy. There's a ton of lactic acid buildup. Makes it very difficult to snap your punches out there. There's a right. Beautiful. And a nice left hand down the middle by Stotts. Jab lands for Stotts. Stotts really needs to go to that jab. That jab's going to open up. Everything for him. If he just sits there and starts to pick him apart with it, then use the left hand, change levels with your punches to the body and then back to the head. Knee by Sabatello. 15 seconds left in the fourth round. He'll come down to five minutes or less to determine who meets Patchy Mix in the final. Yes, deep breath. Could be 2-2. Two, two. Already you hear two, Scott's two, corner two, could, two, be two, two. Now, could be 2-2. Could be. You, you, you need more. You need and according more to you, to it's 2-2. Two, two. Two. Could be 2-2. Two, two. Could be 2-2. Two, two. We need to win this round. We don't, we're not sure. The, the rounds are close. So. <clears throat> we need to. He's tired as fuck. Believe in it. Shift. You understand me? Yeah. You're a fighter for something you did with this bullshit. You understand me? You gotta go out and fight this motherfucker. You gotta put a hand through the fucking head. You understand me? The jab of Stotts has been something that has been a difference maker. This is the left hand coming straight down the pipe. Lands clean on Sabatello. Comes for the flying knee. Nothing comes close, really. It goes straight back to that jab. Lands with it. Sabatello returns, but hits on. Ready? Fifth and final ready? round. Rafion Stotts hey. has won 10 in a row. Danny Sabatello has won seven in a row. Both undefeated in the Bellator cage. Both looking to advance to the final against patchy mix and it very well could come down to this final round you take a look right now Stotts utilizing all of that motion hitting that jab but always aware waiting for the shot sabatello and there it is, sprawl by Stutz. Of course, takes energy to sprawl as well, John. And oh, yes, it does. Things I said is you know, whoever wins this fight at the end, there was a lot of talking, but there's gonna be respect because they both are outstanding fighters. You're gonna have to respect a guy that can go in there and go with you that long. That's what we have. Scott's defends another takedown, nice. front kick to nice. the section. Minute and a half gone here in the final round. There's a straight left down the middle by Stotts, and again he stuffs the takedown attempt, but the tenacious Sabatello continues to go for it, and there takes the back again of Stotts, but Stotts, what a wild scramble. He is so tenacious in going after that takedown, you think Stotts is going to run himself out, but Sabatello continues to go after him, and ends up where 
He's close to having a great position on his back. Unable to truly control it right now, but we'll see what he does. Elbows. And, then, and this is the problem for Danny. He's holding on in a, in a grappling position, but he's getting elbow to the head. All those are just strikes to just add up because he's holding and position doesn't mean anything. really not in a position to make the knee bar work, but he's torquing on it, trying to straighten that leg out. Danny starts to duck his head down. That's why the referee's telling him to watch the back of the head as Danny's trying to hide his head. Now that he got his leg free, he has a builder on top. Sabatello continues to work from Scott's back. Scott's working his way back up to his feet again, rolling through. But Zabatello maintains control of Scott's back. A minute and a half left in the fight. Trying to break the hands apart. Rafion can get high, start moving himself towards Danny Sabatello's head. Danny Sabatello trying to hold on. Now into guard position. Nice movement by Danny Sabatello. Sabatello began wrestling at the age of four, two-time state champion in high school in Illinois, captain of the team at Purdue, where he was a three-time NCAA Division I championships qualifier. Wrestling's been in his blood since day one. And his wrestling may indeed propel him to the final against Patchy Mix. I don't know. Just holding on. There is no submission attempts. There is no strikes. He has been hit how many times in this round, including the stand-up section, and he has landed nothing. It is not about being able to grapple. Put a submission on. Strike him. When you're holding, it's not going to end up getting you the win. And there starts now. Exploding back now into north-south. 15 seconds left. Stotts has a huge advantage in the striking stats. And Danny Sabatello, only 419, eats the knee, tries the knee of his own, and finally. Where was this kind of action for the last 25 minutes? But Sabatello and Stotts go the distance. And again, John, you mentioned it. Stotts much busier with the strikes. And for Danny Sabatello, yeah, able to secure takedowns, but held on, John, and didn't do much else. And, and look, this is not a wrestling, if it was a wrestling match, Danny Sabatello wins this. But if you take a look at that fifth round, you look at what occurred early and the shots that Stotts landed. Here we go, take a look, beautiful. Oh. Straight down the pipe with the left hand. Makes Danny Sabatello give some ground. Here was right at the end of the fight. They just started swinging. This is after Stotts got up. But you take a look at all of that time that they were in that grappling situation. He has a better position, but he did nothing with the position. And you've got to try to do something with the position. That's why I give this to Rafael Stotts. Will the judges agree with Big John McCarthy? They go the full five rounds. Rafael Stotts feels he's done enough to remain unbeaten in the Bellator cage. And as we look at the fight stats, again, Stotts a huge advantage in terms of total strikes landed, ground control and wrestling for Danny Sabatello, but Unable to really make it count once it got to the ground.
Who will face Patchy Mix in the final of the $1 million Bantamweight World Grand Prix? Michael C. Williams is about to tell us. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll go now to your three judges at cage side. Your first, Doug Crosby, scores the fight 50 to 45. He sees it for Sabatello. Your second judge, Eric Cologne, scores it 48 to 47. He sees the fight for Stotts. Your third and final judge at cage side, Brian Miner, scores it 48 47. For the winner by split decision, advancing to the finals of the $1 million Bantam Weight World Grand Prix. And still, interim Bellator Bantam Weight World Champion, Rafian Super. Rafion starts much to the delight of his father watching his son fight in person for the first time Slips past Danny Sabatello via split decision and Danny Sabatello Has left the building. Let's go to big John McCarthy Rafion starts wants something to say. I'll give you the mic for a second. Hey everybody in Connecticut I want you to say say this with me. No, nah, no, nah, no nah. Okay, let's start now. Hey, that what you got to admit. He's a tough sucker. He's a tenacious fighter. He came after you with wrestling, but he didn't do any damage to you. He didn't do no damage. I was walking him down the whole time. I had his face bloody. I got blood all in that highlighter head, and we moving on to the finals, baby. When you talk about being a wrestler, there were times you were caught in cradles. There was all kinds of different things. But you're not getting pinned here. It's about damage. What was it you was going through your mind, though? Were you thinking about, I got to get out, I got to do something? Yeah, I was definitely thinking separation and damage. He was trying to control me, hold my nuts all fucking fight. But well, hugging nuts don't win fight. Damage do. Let's go. Well, I want to congratulate you on winning that fight. That is your first defense as the interim champion. But this is a man right here that also won tonight. This will be your opponent in the finals of the Bantamweight Grand Prix. We got Patchy No Love Mix facing Rafion Super Stutz. Will meet Patchy Mix. Rafion Stotts dad continues to celebrate. Stotts and Mix will meet to determine the Bellator Bantamweight World Grand Prix champion.